I'm Dr. Daniel Lawson from the Institute for Statistical Sciences at the University of Bristol. I'm going to tell you about some data science research that we do here. COVID-19 has changed the world for everyone. Working alongside vaccination, data science has been our biggest tool in fighting COVID. Mathematics has been the key to understanding this epidemic. It allows us to make predictions from models of how the epidemic might behave. You may know about differential equations that describe how something changes over time. These are the core of how we model infection. Reality is never that simple, of course. For example, humans live in particular places, they have different social groups, and they respond differently to instruction. Random chance can also allow the infection to take root in one place and not in another. Our models attempt to address such details, but this is a big challenge. We use data to learn which models are good and which aspects of those models are important. It's a poorly kept secret that most models are not good. Making models better is a very hard problem, and that's where the work of the Institute for Statistical Sciences comes in. We think about how to learn a model from data, how to check that it fits the data, and how to update it as a result. This is a hugely important area, both in applying mathematics and for fundamental research. Honestly, data science wasn't well enough prepared for a pandemic. Data-driven decision-making is not yet the norm, either for individuals or organisations. We need higher data literacy throughout society. Starting, of course, with data collection and analysis, but covering every aspect, from business management to high-level politics. Getting value out of data science requires collecting the right data, making data-driven decisions, and acknowledging uncertainty and the limitations of what the data can do for us. An important tool that you might have heard of is machine learning. Machine learning is a flexible way to turn data into predictions, but often the data alone is not enough. Predicting outside of what has been previously seen is hard. For example, we would like to predict the effect on COVID spread of a new combination of interventions. But we don't get to see what happens when interventions are not used, and we only get one history to learn from. To predict something that has never been seen before takes assumptions, which are described by mathematics. These assumptions are blended with the messy data from the real world using machine learning and statistics. Whilst there is a lot of data, it is not the data that we would choose. For example, we never get to see who is infected with COVID. We see the results of tests, which give both false positives and false negatives, from a biased sample of people that is continually changing. All of this together means that there are plenty of challenges for the future. The skills that are needed to address this, and so many problems in the real world, are what we call data science. The world will not always be gripped by a pandemic, but it will still need data scientists. There are growing numbers of data science careers in government, in medicine, in healthcare, in specialist industries such as aerospace and genetics, in internet services and company management. The world will be better able to cope with 21st century problems if data scientists are everywhere. The School of Mathematics at the University of Bristol teaches data science at the undergraduate and postgraduate level. Our programmes combine statistics, mathematics, computing and machine learning, along with the practical tricks and hacks that are needed to work with real-world data. Our BSc in Data Science prepares students to deploy mathematics in the real world, whilst our PhD programme in Computational Statistics and Data Science, called COMPASS, is a further four-year research programme into a deep question. Mathematics is inherently beautiful, and, combined with data science, really can change the world. These programmes provide the skills needed for you to make a difference.